managing the firm's next generation connected consumer ETF. Welcome. It's nice to talk to you today. Uh, it is one of the biggest questions, I think, heading into the new year. And as you progress into it, uh, how the consumer is going to hold up. It's certainly relative to the stocks you manage. How would you answer that question? Yeah, thanks, Scott. Great, great to see you again. I, I you know, we, we are braced for a, a rough start to 2023 because the the challenges that that plagued the the second half of 2022 they don't go away overnight. The the good news is we do get to anniversary things like the spike in gas prices and and the spike in in, in food inflation and, and uh, the rapid increase in interest rates. Um, but that's not really till till we get to the middle of the year or so. But the data that we track. Uh, do point us to a handful of, of retail ideas that we think can perform quite well in, in spite of those environmental pressures. Yeah, because I'm sure some people are listening to the conversation thinking like, man, I, I don't want to buy any of these stocks. I, I don't care you know, what the prospects seem to be for individual names. Is it hard to make the case as we worry about a recession and all of these lingering and lagging effects of what the Fed has already done? the impact that it's ultimately going to have on the consumer at some point, you've got to believe that, that these stocks are going to be hard to come by. Yeah, that's a, it's a fair question. Uh, and, we, you know, we think there are a couple bright spots that can kind of out, outshine uh, some of those headwinds. It, you know, retailers offering great value that can benefit from trade down is an obvious one. Dollar, Dollar Tree is a, is a name there that actually benefits from cons some consumer distress. It's the the largest position in our portfolio, and that thesis there really just uh, starts with a new management team that literally wrote the playbook on how to turn around a, a dollar store banner, and we just think there are uh, quite a bit of self-help opportunities, the biggest of which is, is changing their approach to, to pricing, and our data show that it's already working, the business is already turning, so we're, we're in, despite the environment, that, that's a name where, you know, where we think absolute returns can, could shine. But I guess your, your bottom line is, is at least in part from the TJX and you know, Dollar Tree is that you think it's a, it's a discount retail world for the foreseeable future. D discount for sure is one area we're leaning into in retail. On, on the other end of the, the spectrum, you know, it would be the very high end consumer tend, tends to be a bit more resilient to, to macro choppiness. So we own some luxury names like Montclair or, or uh, Farfetch, but, but I would say discount feels uh, the, the safest, if you will. It feels kind of the, the highest probability, if you will, because we're already seeing it in the data that the middle income consumers uh, are, are behaving more like low income consumers and, and really uh, looking, searching for great value. John, be well. Happy New Year. We'll see you on the other side. Happy 2023 New Year. Hopefully brings Thanks. better things in this market. That's John San Marco, Newberger Berman.